good news, bad news, depending on what you think. You know, the, everybody likes the rain, they'll yes. wash away the pollen, but for those of us who love the sun, bring it on. Bring on the sun, <laughs> yes. The 4th of July, your relief is coming. I don't know if that's good news. It is still a ways away, but sure. yes, it is not going to be long before you will get relief. Taking a live look outside this evening from our A. Lene camera. Current conditions here in Portland, 87 degrees. It was warm outside and I'm sure everyone who was spending some time outside was feeling it. Sunset tonight. We are staying with those 9 p.m. sunsets, so you will be able to use all of that time outside with that sunshine. Current conditions right now we can see across the state on the coast there, mid to upper or um, upper 50s to mid 60s you can see and in the valley things remain hot. We've got 85 in Hillsboro, 87 in Portland, 76 up in Kelso. You will not need a jacket if you are stepping outside right now. Things may cool down as we get into the later parts of the weekend and of course the evenings as well. Really dry, taking a look at our satellite and radar, and there's not a much to consider at all when it comes to rain. These little green dots that you see going around, that might just be a little blip on the radar. We're not seeing anything as far as moisture in the air right now. But we are seeing some scattered drizzle coming into the Portland metro area as we approach the week, and you can see by early Sunday morning. A few of those spotty drizzle spots, things clear out by evening on Sunday as well. Take a look at those rain chances. We can summarize things by saying it is going to be dry throughout the weekend. You are not going to need to do much to keep yourself dry, but remember to water those plants and try to water them in the morning or the evening. You don't want to do it in the hottest part of the day. You know that water will just evaporate. It's when we head into the Middle parts of next weekend, we might start to see those isolated showers, just a little bit of drizzle coming into the area. So our forecast for the coast, we are going to see low 60s, upper 50s for tomorrow. That might be a condition where you do need a windbreaker or, you know, a light jacket heading out the door. Patchy drizzle as well. Definitely take that into consider. Things are a bit warmer here in the valley for tomorrow, but much cooler than they were today. We're going to see the high in Salem at 76 degrees, high in Portland 73, 68 up in Kelso. If you are heading out to Tiger tomorrow for the Festival of Balloons, it is the last day and you won't have as clear of a picture as you had maybe yesterday or today, but it is still going to be a wonderful sight. Anyway, not too cloudy as you look up and see those beautiful hot air balloons. Um, we've had plenty of reports throughout the week and the weekend, so definitely check those out and head down to Tigard where the temperature will be comfortable albeit just a little bit cloudy. Now to that allergy forecast, our allergens that we're seeing in abundance right now are those grasses and dock. Things will start to cool down, chill out as we head into the week, but still things remain moderately high at this time. Okay, taking a look at that seven day forecast, seeing a mostly dry weekend with those mid 70s warming back up as we get into the uh, early part of next week. 84 on Tuesday, 77 on Wednesday, cooling back down Thursday to the low 70s, remaining in those mid 70s to mid 80s as we approach next weekend, seeing a lot of sunshine. But Lisa, not a lot of rain, so get out there, enjoy the sunshine but we are tracking that cool down starting tomorrow.